Ms. Love and Ms. Willis, now you're suing the defendant Karen Williams for $5,000 for defamation of character. You say she's destroyed your family name by claiming your father cheated on your mother with her and this affair produced her daughter, Stephanie. Yes, Your Honor. Who you say is not your father's daughter. Yes, Your Honor. No. Now, the court has ordered a DNA test and the results will be revealed shortly. Ms. Karen Williams, you say you haven't defamed anyone's character. Yes, Your Honor. Because you've told the truth about the affair and the results of today's paternity test will clear your name. Yes, Your Honor. And identify your daughter's father. Ms. Love, after all these years, why do you finally bring the defendants to court today? Because I'm tired of Miss Karen Williams going around town telling people that my father fathered her child. And so how long has this been going on? I'm 35, so about 30 years. 30 years? All this time? All this time. And you just come into court today? Yes. So take me back. This is a claim for defamation of character. Yes, Your Honor. How do you believe she's defamed your character? From the time I was about six years old, this has been going on with Miss Karen. Is she done follow us in stores, Jobs, workplaces? Everywhere. Everywhere. And what does she what does she say when she follows you? Accusing oh you do oh Miss Stephanie, um this say is hi to your, your father, sister. This is your sister. You, say hi to your big sister. We ain't her sister. We're not related to her. She don't even look like us. And I got proof she not. So you say for us. thirty years people have been following you saying that she is my father's daughter and she's not. Ms. Williams, have Your you been following them around no, saying? No, Your Honor, I do not know them. I met them in 94. What I've told is true and this is his daughter. So you're saying in 1994 is the first time you laid eyes on yes. them? Yes. So when you were involved with their father, did you know he was involved with their mother? No. You no. didn't? Yes, I didn't. Did. I didn't. Yes, she did. So, no. She lied. No, I didn't even know he was married at the time I was involved with him. So you didn't know. So, Ms. Williams, this is your daughter. Yes. Ms. Williams, how old are you? I'm 34. And Ms. Love, how old are you? 35. And Ms. Willis, how old are you? 33. Oh. Smack dab in the middle. H how long did this relationship last? Um, last... I'll say about a year. About okay. a year or so. And you felt you all were exclusive. You were only yes, sleeping with him? Yes, no. Your Honor. I thought I had someone. I was in love with him. So when you found out you were pregnant, you told him? I told him. him. And what happened? And, and what ha he came and picked me up and we talked about it. And he did not say he wasn't the father. He just said that, uh, you know, that congratulations to me, you know. To you? To me. Exactly. Wouldn't it be to he us, wasn't Jerome? the father. He's not the father. And, and, also, and I also have, Your Honor, evidence father. that he wrote in my yearbook, we was together. You do? Three days before his birthday. Let me see that evidence she's pointing to. So this is what, Miss Williams, your... Mr. Willis wrote to me. We need to see that. That ain't his hair. Oh. I bet you it's not his hair right. It's making sure we're gonna be together forever because I'll always love you for you and only you. My daddy don't even... Just like be that. mine forever. <laughs> My father has never talked like that to a woman. Your Honor, he loved me and I loved him. He just signed it, love baby, though. Exactly. His name is at the top. Jerome, uh, please uh, show this to the plaintiffs and see if this the name looks is like the their top. father's handwriting. Where? That whole page. His name is at the top, Your Honor, under the sticky note. My it daddy don't write Williams. like this. That is not my daddy's That's not handwriting. That's not his signature either. His signature at all. Yes. And there's only one other person that can duplicate his handwriting exactly and like he can. that's our mother. That's not his handwriting at all. So, Miss Stephanie Williams, I want to talk to you. What do you remember from your childhood? Were you ever told who your father was? Did you believe all I your was, life it was this man? I was told by my father who my father was. He came oh. to my house. Yes. I was about seven or eight, and he explained to me who he was. That's he not... was my father. He gave me his phone number. I mean, reluctantly, my mother didn't want me to call, because when I did call, I was cursed out by, I don't know, I'm assuming it was their mother. Um, B, don't call here anymore. He's not your father. I was seven to eight years old. I mean, Wait a I minute. was hurt by So that. you called the phone number your father, which gave is me their father. Yes. Gave you. Yes. You're seven or eight years old. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, can I And ask when you please? call an adult 
answer. First, is you out? Yes. Why did he come and give me the phone number? Why did he explain to me he's my father? Did you ever what? hear anything about this phone call? Ms. No, Love Miss Willis. No. no, they put him on child support. The blood te DNA test had already been done. Wait, there was a DNA I know nothing test. About that. Wait, wait, explain this to me. So when he was a truck driver, my dad didn't see his checks from him. They was direct deposit to the bank account. My mom did the balance of the b the banks and statements and all that. So what she noticed was money being taken out for child support. My dad went to find out what was going on. So when he found out it was child support for Miss Stephanie, he wanted to have a blood test done. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I do not know anything of child support. You never received, received the assistance from the state? No. And you never received the child support? No. I was, I was cut off of assistance when my test was taken, my tournament test was taken. What didn't you do? When I went there, they couldn't verify that he had been there. They told me to just do what I need to do. My daughter got scared. She threw up on me when they took the blood. So we had to catch the bus back home. So your concern is because you went to the facility, the yes, testing facility... Yes, Your Honor. ...but you never laid eyes on him. He was not present. Yes, Your Honor. What do you think happened? About 85, he came over in the summertime, him and a uh, uh, family member. And they were laughing and talking. And one family member said, that's my baby. And I said, oh, maybe someone else took the test. No. Did you ever hear anything like that? No. Miss no. Love or Miss Willis? No. She said my father didn't show up for the test, but he did. Did you ever receive a paternity test result that said he was not yes. determined to yes. be the biological yes. father? No. Yes. yes, we both seen the results. You saw them. We saw. We had a family meeting to see the results because it was going on for so long that my dad sat us down in a family meeting with me, my sister, and my mom to discuss what was going on and why this was going on. She... All right. So, Stephanie... Yes. You are convinced he's your father. I'm convinced because my mother has no reason to lie to me. And he came himself Shh. to me and Shh. explained that he was my father. Never so... lie. My father didn't even like... I know... Him. I know I what was it. said to me and where it was, was said and when it was said. He never liked to be in the same you. place right. around him. How often himself. did you see him after this conversation? Never. never. I might have saw him one more time. When I finally worked up the nerve and I found out he was back in Michigan, I tried to get my cousin to go with me to knock on his door. Well, lo and behold, news come on. He was shot and killed before I even had a time, you know, a chance to Your get... Your Honor, that was four years ahead. ago. I'm here to find out. I That's why say, it's I, so important. But you weren't at I his funeral. Say you weren't there when he got killed. On, Ruben, that, on that behalf, Your Honor, you I felt the funeral time. was not a time for me to come and say, I'm a part. Around. I'm not messing. I'm around. not yeah. ghetto. I'm going to let you guys you have your dreams. Yeah. I'm going to let you guys have your dreams. You desperate now? It's their life. He was not in my life. So let's bring it down a notch. Your Honor, it was a woman pregnant before my father got killed. Do you know she was there? No matter if she, me and that. So woman now your it. point is, if this really was your father, she would have, been she would have been showed there. up at the funeral. Yeah. And but it seems like she's darned her. if she does and she's darned if she doesn't. Can I present you with evidence that I feel? I, that what evidence did you, you bring, Ms. Like, um, I brought. I'd like to see that. I brought evidence that it's a it's a picture, Your Honor. Thank you, Jerome. Oh, it's a picture of me and DeAndre, Your Honor. And, and you believe you resemble one another? Yes. No. no. Throughout my whole life, Your Honor, I've always... People approach me and ask me, do you have a sister that lives in Beecher? Do you have a sister that lives in Beecher? All my life, I've, got, I've gotten this. So you believe throughout the years there have been different instances that point to it being true. Yes, yeah. ma'am. 34 years, I would not be here right now if I didn't wholeheartedly, passionately feel like this might... This, you know, this is my father. At this time, the court would like to call a witness. Mr. Andre Banks. Jerome, would you please escort him into the courtroom, please? Mr. Banks, come with me. Oops, I... Have to go up to the witness stand next to the judge. Have a seat. Mr. Banks, thank you so much for joining us. Hello. Uh, of course, we've been here discussing with Ms. Willis, Ms. Love, your sisters, the fact that Ms. Stephanie Williams contends that she's also one of your siblings and that you share father. Do you believe that to be true? I mean, we talking about my dad. He was Rolling Stone. It's a possibility. 
You're saying to this court that your father slept around... Yes. ...a lot. Yes. Yes, I'm not the only one. So, Miss Love and Miss Willis, you hear your brother saying these things about your father. Yes. yes. Did you know any of these things? Yes. yes. So, why am I? But when it came to his Your children... Honor, why is it such a, you know... No. When it came know. to his children... Why is it so impossible? Kids, I'm not making the child. We all grew up together. We might have had different mothers, but we all grew up together. So, your point is, we have a different mother from him. My father claimed... It, all of us, all of we us. were all raised to be family. He, he, if he truly step step believed we Miss Williams was his daughter, too, she been why with wouldn't us. she be included? Exactly. That's what your point is. You're yes. following your father's lead on the situation. Yes. So, how do you feel about that? I mean, I, I, I understand where they're coming from. I mean, you all have different mothers. You still raise this family. Why, why do you feel Miss Williams was included if you feel like it's a possibility that she's your sister? I wasn't around when all this happened, but it's a real good possibility because my father was a ladies' man. He got around. From me and my father being around each other, especially we made the ride from Texas to California, he always told me that it was also another child out there, himself. He told you this? I was only 13 at the time. I didn't think nothing of it. And then my auntie always told me, especially after he passed, that it was two more siblings out there that I need to find. Oh, and she encouraged you to find these siblings? My dad asked me to put his family back together before me and him had our last argument before he died. So, that was your last conversation with your father, as he asked you... Yes, ma'am. ...please put My the fam- entire family, family together. together. Can I say something, Your Honor? Yes, ma'am. One thing about that fact is the children that are supposed to be out there are younger than me. I am the baby. There's nobody between these two or between us two. Well, I am the baby, and the other ones are supposed to be under me, and they not even around. Your they honor. mamas ain't popping up. Her mama been doing this for 30-some years, just like my so brother So, Ms. Said. Williams, what do you have to add to this mom? Your Honor, I wanted to say, through all the confusion, I did not know his children, and I'm not here for his children. I'm here for my daughter. That ain't my Because father's. I'm not... I, I, I didn't grow up with a single-parent life. My mother and father are still together. You shouldn't mislead And anything. I want the closure for my daughter to let her know that her mother knows who her father is. Her and... mama know who her daddy is. You... There are no other possible fathers. Hmm? No, Your Honor. None. No, Your Honor. And this has been the same story she's explained to me throughout my childhood that gave me, to this day, the fight to come here and say, this is my father. You, took this you know, home. rather it... Rather it is or it isn't... It took this I'm home. here today to get closure. Why it take this long? Why you ain't do the blood test before we die? Well, you know what? You, we can do this all day long. Yes, we can. <laughs> I'm... I'm sitting in the middle of you, literally, Mm -hmm. and I also understand that you all will not come to a middle ground at all unless we get you the truth. Jerome, I think it's time for the results. (laughs) Now, let me explain to you how the lab was able to test since your father is deceased. With permission from the next of kin, we were able to collect a blood card. Now, that's blood that's been collected and stored from the deceased by the Genesee County Coroner's Office. So, we have that DNA sample. We were able to test it. And I have your results here. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Yep. All right. Yes. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Love Willis versus Williams Williams, when it comes to 34 year old Stephanie Williams, as to whether the deceased Andre Willis was her biological father, it has been determined by this court. Miss Stephanie Williams, Mr. Andre Willis, was not your father. I told you! I told you! So, uh, your mama lied to you for 34 years. What you gonna say to her years. now? Now you could... Now like you that, that, well. Now. Yes, Let's Honor. first get some control. And before <laughs> Ms. Willis and Ms. Love, before you plan your celebration, if you take a look across the aisle, I think there is room for a level of compassion. You all were blessed to know who your father was. Yeah. This young lady 
is only going off of what she was told. And quite frankly, Ms. Williams' mom, is there had to be somebody else. Yes. And she said her Can you recall it. who, in fact, her father is? No, Your Honor, because of the situation I went through, that's who I was with at the time. Well, mm. that obviously was not the case. Now, whether you want to admit it in open court is your business. But I think you have some explaining to do to your daughter. Yeah. 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 And yeah. as it pertains to your defamation suit, you claim the defendants ran around town harassing you, saying things about your father. What I don't believe you've shown to this court is that you suffered any real injury because of that. So, therefore, I have to deny your claim. Mr. Jackson, you petitioned the court for a DNA test because you believe the defendant, Ms. Elan, has committed paternity fraud by claiming you fathered her two-year-old daughter, Jemiah. Yes, Your Honor. You say you found out about Jemiah only one year ago, and that's why you vehemently deny being her father. Yes, Is that Your correct? Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Elan, you say Mr. Jackson is a liar. Yes, ma'am. Who's denying your daughter so he can avoid responsibility. Yes, Your Honor. You are positive he's the only person who can be the father, and the DNA results will prove it today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Jackson, why do you believe Ms. Elan has committed paternity fraud? Because, Your Honor, I found out about this child a whole year ago. A year ago. And so what does that have to do with a paternity fraud? Because if this is my child, I want to be in my child's life. You're supposed to let somebody know. Aaliyah picked up and took off. Never heard from her, then she started playing Facebook games. <laughs> Sending me messages through Facebook, yeah. then she would block me. Sending me messages, then block me, using other people's names. It's just the game just kept going on and on. I, I... So you think this is a game? Yeah. It's, Are you it's... playing games, Miss Elan? No, no, yes, y'all, no, I'm not playing yes, games. Yes, yes, no, yes. he blocked me on Facebook. Yes, he changed his phone number and everything. Yeah. I actually yes, have I did. proof. Yes, he I did. He went ghost on me once I told him I was pregnant. He found out. He went ghost on me. I never heard from yeah, him I again. I She's... never heard from him until a year later when I made a fake page on Facebook telling him about it. Well, it sounds like you're both playing games. Yeah, I know. Take me back to the nature of this relationship. How did you meet? Um, I was at work. I was leaving. I got off work. She was next door from my job as a public aid office place, and she was coming out of there. And I said, hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Let me talk to you, get your number, whatever. She said, sure. She wrote the number down. I said, where you headed to? She said, I'm going home. I said, okay, the bus stop is that way. Let me walk you to the bus stop. I walked the lead to the bus stop. She gave me the number. Right after that, I called her. She answered the phone. That night, me and Leah had sex on the back porch. <laughs> wow. Okay. That same Come correct. Night. Come correct. We didn't have sex on the back porch. Yes, Come we correct. did, Leah. That uh, same night. Two weeks night. later, we had sex in your that car. That same night. I we had sex the back in the porch. back of your car. That's where it we was had on the sex back porch. And right after that, the car. next day, we kept having sex in my car. We... Exactly. We kept having sex in your car, right, not in the back right. porch. So what that tells you? What that tells you right there? We keep having sex in the car. So you're in a sexual relationship. Was that it? That's Were you it? boyfriend and girlfriend? Or no, what? this was just no. A... This was just a sexual relationship with no commitment. No she's... commitment at all. Nah, she's lying. We was no commitment. We wasn't in a relationship. It was just sex wise. Every time he called my phone, it's sex wise. That's and you all say you were in a relationship, Mr. Relationship Jackson. We wasn't it. in no relationship. We had no. We had no strings you. attached. And Giannis. it's just sex in a car. She's a jump off. Uh, no she's reason, a jump no off. I'm a easy, jump easy, off. Wait a minute. Easy, I'm a jump easy, off. But you kept coming to order. Let's get some order. No. Listen, now, just a minute ago, Mr. Jackson, you testified that you were in a relationship. Right. Now you're saying she's a jump off. In my mind, to be honest with you, I thought we was together. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. So thought tell the together. truth. And shame the devil. Don't get in here and get your feelings hurt and I'll start lying. I thought we was you together. Said, <laughs> you said I thought we were in a relationship because I was doing things for her and you thought you were building something. Yes, you're right, Your Honor. And yes. honestly, Ms. Elan, I, I'm glad that it, he at least thought that because if you just walking out of the house sleeping with men in cars every single day, day after day, and they just pull off and leave, I, there's got to be more to do than that. 
See, it's just him. That him, man, he and him, me and him. That it was just him. I was just she messing was around with him. Else. But you stay she calling my phone, else. calling Leah, me. Who explain the guy on the back porch? Who's that guy on the back porch? Wait, I thought you was on the back porch. Oh my God! Yeah. Thank it you. Was two guys oh, on the back porch. Wow, wow. It was two guys on the back porch. Me and the mystery man. Tell me what's on the back porch. Wow. The guy will no, grill me. You're just Look jealous. Me. You're just a jealous person. If you see someone else around, you think that I'm messing with somebody. No, that whole time we were just having sex. It was just me and you. I wasn't even in my feelings at that time. Mr. Jackson, yes, I want to know why do you feel she is not telling the truth? What do you know about the man on the back porch? Thank her you. family member Thank you. let me know Thank you. who the guy was. I asked her. I said, who is this guy? She says, Aaliyah. He Ford. don't even talk to my family member. When he comes over, he don't even... Most he do is hey, and that's about it. It's me going out there, door going downstairs nah, nah. with him. They was letting that's me come in the it. house. That's they about stopped it. all of that. I was coming in the house. How you go you come in the house? You let foot in that house one time. After that, it was just car action. Stop Let me come That's in. About I started getting car hallway action. service. That's I started getting was hallway about. service. Car. Hallway service? Hallway service. I started getting hallway service. What's hallway oh, service? No, service. you're not coming in no more. We're going to do something. It's going to be in the hallway. <laughs> this man stepped foot in this house one time. <laughs> Wait a minute. I've never heard of Go from the back porch to the car to the hallway. It was hallway service. Hold on. I think we're getting closer to trying to understand this. So, oh. was it, you believe because you weren't on the back porch anymore, somebody else was? Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. When I came, he was on the back porch. So now I'm in a hallway now talking to Aaliyah. No more back porch action. Now it's the hallway. <laughs> and so you assume she has having a relationship with this other guy? Yes, yes, Yana. She had, I mean, who ups and take off on a baby? Who ups and take off with a child? So when did she disappear? I don't understand this part. Um, I started coming over there, blowing the horn. Her family come to the window. She's not here. She's gone. Okay, I'll leave. Come back the next day. Leah's not here. She's gone. Uh, She always gone. Now, the clock started ticking, and she with another guy. Okay, come to the house, blow again. Bye-bye, Leah up there. Now, she gone. Look, she on the side of the window, moving the carriage, looking. I'm dead. She go right there. She yeah, gone. Because I don't want to be bothered with you. I'm putting it down because it was another man upstairs. Because you're already, because you're already with. calling That's with... That's why. Look, you called me to come out and have sex. Well, if I don't want to have it's sex, you get upset. It's never a problem then. That's a problem You now. get upset. You don't come there. Mr. Jackson, so yes, it was Honor. your feeling that she was up there with another man, yes, and that's Honor. why you could see her peeking out the curtain. Yes, Yana. But they were telling you she wasn't home. Yes, yeah, she wasn't home. One more week, Yana. I came. She's gone. She don't live here no more. Um, damn, she don't live here no more. Okay, cool. She moved. Guess she called it off and let me know. Leave it alone. Man of my business. One day, headed to the bus stop. See a woman that I know, so familiar. I look at her. So I know you from somewhere. Yeah. I'm uh, Leah's family member. Okay. By the way, uh, Leah had your baby. That baby looked just like you. What? I say what? Uh, Leah had a baby? Yeah, boy, that baby looked just like you. How old was the baby? Already one. Walking and talking. <laughs> so you've never heard about the pregnancy and you've never heard about the birth. You, you don't know a thing about this baby. don't know nothing That's about a lie. the baby. That's a lie. That's a lie. He heard about it because I told him, I do actually have proof. I do have a timeline of every time he disappeared when I did tell him that I was pregnant. It is, if I can show. You have Either proof. Even, yes, you, I, do, I have it here. Yeah, I have Please my dad. step over. So, November 15, 2015, I found that I was pregnant. How did I know? Because I missed my menstrual period. When I went to the hospital, it confirmed that I was pregnant. I called him and told him he was excited. He come see me that night, the same day, November 15. He came to see me. We were sitting in the car. I was talking to him. I mentioned something about I'm hungry. She said, okay, he'll be back. Here it is. 30 minutes passed by. He never came. An hour passed by. He never came. Three hours I'm passed by. He never came. Where'd he go? He done disappeared. He ain't see him no more. Here this come. So he ghosted you. He gone. He gone for them a matter of years. He gone. This is, remind you, this is back in 2015. Here it is. Here come July 8th. I have her. I, I never stopped searching for him. Kept looking for him. Phone kept ringing, 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 ringing. This number you call had been disconnected. Oh, okay. He gone again. I still can't find him. 
a couple months before August 6th, I made a fake Facebook page. That's how I got in contact with him. And I inboxed him and I took a picture of her. And I said, you know, your daughter's two years old. It's time for you to be her father. He came and saw her. He kept her for two hours, took her to the park to meet his other family members. Two hours later, he brought her back and told me he'll be back to come see her again. Here it is. I never heard from him. He done left again. Ghosted another time. He left again. No. You can step back to the podium. So it sounds like from her testimony, Miss Elon was trying to find you, Mr. Jackson. Where were you? She will reach out to me on Facebook, Yana. The minute I say something back, deactivate the page, block me, come back three months later, um... Can you help get her some pampers or some? Because he don't want me bothering him. He don't want nothing to do with my child. He don't want to be involved with her. Because if he did, every time I reached out to him, he would have came out and he would have he would have stepped up. He's less of a man to keep sitting here acting like this ain't his daughter. He's sitting here walking around with his hair, his hair hell high. But what are you doing? She's sitting here, she's two years old. She says that, that. What do mama supposed to say? I can't give her no answer. And how does that feel as a mother to have to say, it's you emotional, say I don't you know, have anything to say? I don't have anything to say because I can't explain it to her. You know, I can't, like, break it down to her because she's two years old, but I can't explain it when she's older. But it made me feel sad. I do sometimes grab my baby, I cry. That's what I do because I'm very emotional. And for her to sit here and ask me about her dad, that, that, that's a hurtful feeling. It is. It's a hurtful feeling. A hurtful feeling. Uh... That was for her first birthday. He was Staying nowhere to be found. All of these moments he's missing. He missed every Stay moment. in one stable he, spot. Look, Stop going from missed, house to house. Maybe I'll missed, find you. Look, okay, if somebody have to move out their apartment, that means they have to move. So where do you think I'm supposed to go? I, I went back to my mom's house. No I my went hand back hand to my for her. mom's house. Look, I tried to she's north, I tried looking she's for south. south. You know where she's on the You know where she's south. You know But listen, listen, listen. The moment that you were told that you have a baby, like a little girl in the world that could potentially be yours, even if you don't know for sure. Let's be clear. If it was my daddy, I do want him to have that compass looking for me. That's what daddies do. And then another news flash is when a child doesn't have a father in their life and the mother is trying to make ends meet on their own, then sometimes the home is not stable. As soon as you start telling me she's moving all over the place, that lets me know this child and this mother is alone and they're, they're at risk. I am. And I Y'all do drop house to house because I don't, have, I don't have a stable, a stable home. And I can see that makes you emotional. Yeah, house. it do. All I don't want him to do is step up and me and her life. Should no, should no girl be without her father. I didn't have mine, so she shouldn't go without hers. That's all I want is for him to be in her life. That's it. I don't want no money. I don't want you to buy nothing because guess what? I can't. I, you know, if I do have money, I can support my kids. All I want you to do is spend time with her and let her know that you're her father and be in her life. That's it. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. I have no problem less. with doing that if you stay stable. Stay stable. Yeah, stop playing okay. all these games. If you wear my shoes and you don't have that good support, what do you think? I'm mm-hmm. any, anywhere I go, I when you doing out. that, mm-hmm. you don't have time to send a postcard, Mr. Jackson. You just trying to stay alive. You just trying to keep your children fed. And I'm not saying it's your fault, because this is why this courtroom exists. Because people get in their feelings, denial sets in, and at the end of the day, I always tell people, sex is not. It's not a game. You don't play at this thing. We're making people. 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 And I know if this child ends up being your biological child, and I don't know if she is or she isn't, truly, there is some real doubt in this case. But I know one thing. If you find out today that she is, I know you're not going to sit and look at a beautiful, innocent little girl and say, I'm not going to be having no compass looking north, south, east, and west for you, because then I'm going to have to come up off this bench. (laughs) <laughs> I, ju- I just need to know. I'm tired of the games. And on the flip side, Miss Elon, you gotta recognize the part you play in this. Why is it you never told him? I told him the day when I You're found saying out. that you did tell him that day and you him. feel like he, he ghosted you. She was having sex with another man, too. She was having sex with another man, too. That's all I needed to hear. You discovered that she may still be intimate with an ex. Yes. That's the part that we can't gloss over because that's the very part that led to the doubt. So did you say that at an angle or was it the truth? Oh, at an angle, baby. Oh, a lot of angle? people say stuff at an angle. Yeah. You say stuff at that, an angle. That's you, you did the that's same thing. You would look, tell somebody look, and play look, look, I have sex look, with another you man. You did the same thing. Look, then what the are you doing? Up. What are you doing? Sneaking out for me and then going back to your wife. So what is the difference? Ain't nothing. What is the difference? You married? So hold on. This was a real fun fact that was left out of earlier testimony. <laughs> well, now we know. 
Now we know. That was the fill in the blank moment, honey. The blank got filled in. Because I kept wondering, what in the world is this relationship? I don't understand this. We know what's going on now. All right. So we got that level of understanding. Let's get the true and complete level of understanding. Jerome, let's get the results. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Jackson versus Eland, when it comes to two-year-old Jemiah Eland, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jackson, you are the father. <laughs> Woo. You are the father. That's your beautiful little girl. <laughs> Two years old and has no relationship with her daddy. Out of everything that was said, all the testimony I heard, the ghosting, the this, whatever it was, the testimony that touched my heart the most is when you said she asked where her daddy is. And I don't know what to say because I felt, I thought that was so real. And that's what we do in this courtroom. We, we, we get down to the real deal. The nitty gritty, the ugly. It ain't nothing pretty in this courtroom. This is a place where we sort out the ugly stuff, the dirty laundry that we all have. You hear me? Yes. 